How's it going, YouTube? As always, I hope you're having a great week. Um, we're going to call this video The Love of God. And this video is motivated by something very personal to me and my family. And, um, you know, when you think about the love of God, you might think about, you know, how the Bible talks about God is love. You might even go to the point of knowing that God is the definition of love. But no matter what, I don't think we really realize the full depth of what means that God is love, right? We think of it and we think, well, God does things that are loving. But so many times we might think of something that he's done and we might think, well, why did he do it that way? That doesn't seem very loving, right? An example would be, you know, we, uh, we look at this world around us and we think, well, why does God let us be here in this kind of place? With these these things that go on and the, the pain in this life. Why? Or we might look at the fact that God is all-knowing and we say, well, if he's all-knowing and he knew that early in our uh, creation, shortly after we were created, that we were going to fall, that we were going to sin, that we were going to have this disease of sin that was going to cause death in our lives, then why would he create us at all? But see, I think that's where we fall short in understanding what it means when we talk about the love of God. And um, when we look at it, right, if God had chosen knowing how we would fall to never create us, then he would have never known us and we would have never known him. He would have never loved us and we would have never loved him. We wouldn't have that option, right? It wouldn't be on the table. You see, we can't get to where we are at without it. And and what's more is that, you know, for love to be real, it can't just be something we say. It really needs to cost something. Not necessarily um, something bad, but maybe, you know, you put your whole hard into it and you know that this person could easily break your heart in what they do right and and that's where you know god was when he created us he knew we were going to fall and many of us would reject him but he created us because it was the only way he could know us it's the only way he could love us he created us knowing it was going to cost him greatly. Not only the fact that we reject him, but also the fact that he would have to send his own son to die on the cross for us. The Bible says that God so loved the world, he gave his only son for us. God created us because he wants to know us. I don't think he'd ever go back and change his mind. An example of this would be why this video is so personal to me and my family. You know, um, yesterday evening, um, my wife and then me found out that our niece, two-month-old baby, has uh has cancer has leukemia right and um it's heartbreaking it's absolutely heartbreaking and you might even ask right if you knew how this was gonna go right if you knew that she was gonna have this disease would you have still chosen to uh create this child and I think if you ask her, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, they would tell you yes, because if, if they could turn back time and change their mind, they wouldn't know her. They wouldn't be able to love her. We wouldn't know her. We wouldn't be able to love her. And she wouldn't know us or be able to love us. And that right there is far worse, regardless of the circumstance. It's far, far worse. That's what love is, though. Right? 
Love ain't something that's always easy. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's heartbreaking. But you do what you do because you love that person. And if you'd ever go back and change what you did to get there, man, you might not love them that much. We love this little girl immensely. And we pray for her every day. But there's also this disease in her life. This disease of sin that causes death. So we also need to know God. We have to have a relationship with him. It cost him a lot. He proved his love. He showed his love. His love is for real. I hope you have a, a good week. I hope you would. I'd ask that you pray. For my family. For this little girl. Right. But also those. Who have other diseases. Every single human. Who has a disease that's going to. Eventually take them. Which is death. There's a lot of life after this. This ain't it. So if you look back and you ask, why God? It's because he loved you. He wanted to know you. He wanted to know me. And that was worth everything. Have a great week.